Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crab Queen, and today I like to show you my latest project. And I use this time Graphic 45 Love Notes, and I use the 8x8 paper pad plus the ephemera card with it. So let me show you the inside. But first of all, of course, we go to the outside. Oh, duh. <laughs> okay, so the front is looking like this. I decorated with an ephemera card. I used some own print stripes. Also the ticker stripes. Uh, I used some red ribbon. And the sides I used with um, black book binders linen all the way around. So yeah, this is a folio. So this is not a mini album, but this is a folio. And I created a nice little uh, charm on the side, but you can um, click that off if you don't like this, but I like it. And the back is the same as the spine. Left it pretty easy, but you still can add a nice tag or something down here below with it. I did not do that. Alright, so this is the front and I used a little embellishment on the front with some wooden piece called love. Um, a st st picture stamp uh, right here below. Um, yeah, so I kept this pretty simple because if you open this up, then this will go on the bottom and you go moving it around. So that is why I did not embellish this too much. I kept it simple. Plus, the next reason is because the papers are pretty busy. So I thought it will be very, very nice how it already looks. Alright, so let's open this up. Okay, when you open this up. And then you get to see this piece right here. I used two ephemera cards right here. So yeah, you can write something down. You can glue a picture on. But I thought this needs this these two pages need something to uh, give it a little more interest. So that is what I did. Uh, first of all, the first thing that you see are these little three pockets. I decorated a bit on the back. I did not do anything on it. But you still can write something nice on it. I just love making these little pieces. And then on the last one I did not add a ribbon. Otherwise it will go off the folio. But you can. You still can add that if you like. Alright, so let's open this up. And then the first thing you see these two. But I will go first to the first page. Right here. Okay, so before I dig in this album, I need to say it was a big challenge again to use one paper pad, 8 by 8 plus the ephemera card. More I did not use except for a few cream color paper, the same one that I used for um, the cover. But you will see that in just a second. So let me first show you what this is. Okay, so let's go to this page right here. At the front, you will see right away that this is a pocket. And we have two swing tabs right here. This open this up. Then we have a little tuck spot. Nice image. So this is the cream color paper I mentioned. And I printed out two sheets, A4. A small black stripe and a thicker uh, black stripe. That is the only extra thing I added. The rest is only the 8x8 papers. Alright, so this is a nice photo frame. And then we go to the left. I hope you can see that. I have to move it a bit around. This picture um, is included in my kit. So it has a nice tuck spot. Then we have a pocket right here and a pocket on the back. And because I just love the back of these papers, I thought why not make a nice swing photo booklet. I don't call it, I don't know if that is the right word for it, but I'm just going to call it like that. Alright, so then you close this back up with those swing tabs. But that is not all, of course not, because you see these two pockets right here. When you pull this out, you can write something down on here. I make it a little flip journal page. There is one more, same thing. But then this 
flips open and I have to move a little down and up but this is the upper page where you can nice have a photo frame then you have a opportunity to put a photo on here too and this flips down now it's going to be difficult <laughs> to be in frame Ugh. It's, it's very difficult to show you but do you see that so that is a nice big photo mat with a little tuck spot okay now we go back in frame so this was up and then what you see is not the end of this page this page so you, I decorated with some leftover pieces but you still can add a nice little picture right here write something down uh, perhaps add a name tag or a word or, or a nice picture always nice then you flip this up a nice picture frame right here and um, yeah you still can add a nice photo right here but I do love these papers then this flips down I have to watch <laughs> where I'm going where I'm going going where I'm going <laughs> okay and then we have this uh, little tuck spot right here I love those cards and then here I used a square punch uh, which I had in my stash uh, to use all up the nice leftover pieces and I printed out a nice angel and I used I made a sticker sheet and I'm going to show you that in a second which includes the kit okay so then this goes all down and then this down and then this back and then these little tags are close everything down so that is page one lots of activity don't you think I love it and then we go to the next page so I move this up um, in a frame uh, it's difficult because it's very long but <laughs> I'm doing my best okay so the next page has not too much activity but still I like it and so uh, the first thing you see is two nice pockets pocket uh, one small one and one large one which includes nice tags then this swing tab two swing tabs keeps everything in frame opens up to the left and here I created that um, ephemera card on uh, the back and then on the other uh, the background I use that small stripes here we have two photo mats and then we flip this up and on the right side we have two uh, one big pocket where two tags are inside so look how beautiful this is it, it keeps it down because these papers are pretty busy uh, but I love it I just love this theme and I love the color combination can't say that enough then we have a little waterfall and that flips up I did not put anything down papers only on the hinge and at the bottom because we are going to put some pictures on there so I thought not include some papers and then at the bottom I created a pocket where you still can add little pictures or little tags to write something down and then this flips down back down and then you can close this down with those swing tabs here we go here we go yeah that's page two so that was not too much activity but I loved that waterfall and when it's all in here alright so let's go to the next page the next page um, okay the first thing we see is a nice pocket where I used the front of that paper pad I created a nice little tag on the back that cream color let it come back nice image from some angel love note sticker and then on the back here there is a big pocket where I made a nice tag with some round um, cut out from cardstock. And so I used a round punch for that, but you also can cut out round pieces yourself if you don't have a, um, a round punch. But I love how this turns. So I did not cut this out with any um, cutting machine. Nope. There are just round cardstock pieces but you will see in the tutorial how I did that 
then those wing tabs are going to be open then this goes to the white on here a nice little pocket with a tag in there two little photo frames then this flips to the left yep you still see it i use an ephemera card but then i flip it around because i love those ephemera cards you still can add a nice little picture right here and write something down there then in the middle we have some flip pages this flips up and i don't know if you see that so i have to move this a little down so here there's a nice saxophone with also a nice sticker i think that adds really cool let me show you a little closer. I love it. Then this. There's a photo frame. Then this goes down. Um, nice decoration. This is a nice um, patchwork page. But you still can add your picture behind this little piece right there. Stamp. Little stamp. <laughs> then this flips up. And then on the top page there is a little pocket where you can still add your photo or a tag if it wants to get back in <laughs> and then yeah, at the end we created a nice pocket with some leftover pieces right there it just looks amazing in my opinion i love it it's a nice tuck spot so this flips back and then on the bottom that's pretty much the same so this flips down, nice image, sticker, photo mat, this flips up, I have to go down again to be in frame. Then we have a nice pocket right here, now the pocket is a tuck spot, that's something different, but almost the same. And then flips, this flips down, and this is also a nice uh, leftover piece, and at the bottom again a nice pocket. Okay. And then this goes all back, and then this goes back, and this goes back, and then it closes down. Ah, love it. Lots of activity. Okay, so let's go to the last page. The last page has on top a nice little pocket. You see what that cream color does? It, it really settles these busy papers down. It's, it's more quiet. I love it. And then you pull this back in. This goes open with those swing tabs. And then this goes to the left. Nice pocket. Photo frame right here. Then this goes to the right. I have to move a bit with a little tuck spot again. You know I love pockets. It's always nice uh, to create a nice tuck spot. Um, and not glue all the design papers down just you can, but I love having a nice uh, spot where you can add a nice picture, a little behind it, or even you can put your pictures in there and you leave it. So you can put two little pictures right here and let it loose, or you can glue them down. There are lots of possibilities with a tuck spot or a pocket. So that is why I love to make pockets in a project. Then these two pages are going to the left and the right. Also lots of places for photos a nice pocket in the middle then this goes up and then we have here again a pocket and then here we have a page tuck spot right here photo frame and then this goes down and then we have here again a leftover piece designed pocket <laughs> where I put a tag in and then at the bottom I have to move this up guys at the bottom oh my gosh I hope you can see that <laughs> at the bottom I also created a nice tuck spot okay now let me pull this all back it's up and down and then this page holds it everything down and then you can Pull this back in here and everything is be on its place okay so that is our folio so this flips back in and then this flips back in and then you just close it down with this closure like that all right so what do you think do you like it and with one paper pad eight by eight cool i love it 
All right, so it's, it's, I hope you liked it. <laughs> okay, so if you like this project, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel if you like to see more projects. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you what's inside the kit. But the tutorial will be soon online, so have a bit of patience. I owe every Monday, Wednesday, Friday I upload a new video. So have patience with me. The, all the things you need uh, will be told or showed in the every tutorial. So you don't need a measurement list. You don't have to need a within tutorial. That's not just how I work. I just don't. So my videos are follow along. So be my guest and join me. I hope you do. Okay. Till next time. Bye bye.